being a local guy that you know graduated here with a history degree, this really has kind of merged a bunch of passions and interests of not only myself but our entire team here, and um, we're just super excited to usher in this next phase of this uh, kind of iconic uh, restaurant here in Iowa City. Yeah, I think the, the number one thing I heard from people was like, you're not going to make it fancy, are you? Because um, that was their concern. They wanted the, everybody has such specific memories of what Hamburg is to them. And I think the fear was that we were going to come in and change that. And um, we took that very seriously. I mean, it's got such a rich history through all the different chapters. I mean, the, the Hamburg Inn started in the in the, in the 40s, um, it was located originally, the Hamburg Inn number one was located on uh, Iowa Avenue, kind of currently where, um, right next to Basta and Iowa Book and Supply on that street. And it was just a simple little lunch counter and they were serving, you know, five cent hamburgers out the out of the window. And then um, the, the business had grown and they moved over here to this current location on the historic north side of Iowa City. And the Panther family that, that owned the business uh, for the first 60, 70 years that it was that it was operating, um, lived above here in the in the apartment above here, and you know it was one of those classic, uh, kind of old school deep greasy spoon diners where it was open at five in the morning and didn't close down until midnight or one, or 1 a.m. And I grew up six blocks up the up the road on the corner of Brown and Lynn. Um, so as a young person, eight nine, I have memories of coming here. It was always pie shakes and uh, chicken finger basket. So that was my go-to. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to, to kind of come full circle as a, as a young person, um, having making memories with my family here, and then uh, you know now being a partner and, and trying to usher it into, a, into the new generation. That's just something to be really proud of. Uh, but I think really the, you know, where it sits within um, kind of its current place with the Iowa City history and University of Iowa history really started to take shape in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, as you know, kind of became as kind of the, the writers hang out, and, and then of course you started having all the the candidates from the campaign started coming in, and the Coffee Bean Caucus was born, and they had Zadar, this crazy like you know weird movie that was filmed here, and um, the the Coffee Bean Caucus, and all those sort of things. And really, at the heart of it is uh, a restaurant that has a soul to it. We we wanted to take a uh, maybe a little bit of a less like we're gonna break it and reconstruct it and kind of like preserve what was great about it in the first place. And of course, there's like the Ronald Reagan booth, right? So like there's a uh, you know we've got his original you know Ronald Reagan had famously came when he was after his presidency was visiting the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and came here for dinner, but he had to have the uh, the, the apple pie first, you know, before he had his actual meal. So we preserved that corner over there, the Ronald Reagan booth, and it's got. Um, you know, the menu that he ordered off of and the picture that he said after he had visited and um, you know, he had apple pie and meatloaf so it doesn't get much more Iowa or Americana than that. Yeah, we're always going to preserve kind of the, the, the center of the menu kind of being that greasy spoon feel um, and, and we just try to pay attention to what, what the customers are asking for. But also for us, we kind of take this double bottom line approach where it's profit but it's also purpose. And we feel strongly about the place that, places like St. Birch Tavern or Pullman or the other places, you know, Polly Eyes Pizza and, and George's and all the great kind of restaurants that we, you know, Prairie Lights, these places that they make the, you know, they're sort of sit as the essence of the, the experience of what is downtown Iowa City and, and therefore the University of Iowa as well. And, when someone comes back here for a football game or graduation with their kid, it's more than just the three hours they're going to spend in Kinnick. It's also the, you know, what are they going to do before the game and after the game? And, and you know, where are the parents going to go celebrate graduation? Or where are the kids going to go to, you know, have a, you know, big juicy burger to celebrate a, a test or their first date and all those sort of things. So we, we take that um, responsibility seriously. I mean, we, we have fun with it, but also like we, you know, that is kind of part of our purpose is to help add to the fabric of what makes Iowa City and the University of Iowa experience really special. When you're in the restaurant business, uh, people always are, they want to tell you what they think. And, and I, was actually, I was actually really pleasantly surprised with the overwhelming uh, response from this project specifically. Um, you know, taking on, taking on something that has such like, significance in the area, I knew that people were going to have a lot of opinions about it. And, and everybody was just like, thank you. Thank you for, for, for I'm not going to say saving this, but thank you for continuing to, 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 to bring it to life for us.